Welcome to the morning routine at Hot Creek Ranch. Now, most people know Hot Creek Ranch as a dry fly fishing only ranch, but in the early season when there's high runoff, you can fish dry dropper or you can fish nymphs. So the first thing you do in the morning is to go and check and see which one's allowed. Hot Creek Ranch is a fly fishing only ranch on Hot Creek in Mammoth Lakes, California. It is five hours from both the San Francisco Bay Area and Los Angeles, and can be accessed via Highway 395 in the Eastern Sierra. It's known for its large population of large rainbow trout and brown trout. While the ranch itself is private, there are public waters both upstream and downstream of the ranch. Nymphs okay, no streamer. And for all you folks who like to jump in my DMs about nymphing at Hot Creek Ranch, lo and behold, in the fly shop, there's even instructions on how to best nymph the ranch. Hot Creek tends to have benches along all of the, uh, the major runs. So when you're dry fly fishing, you can just, you know, sort of sit back, watch the water and see if there are any fish working. Now, the way that I like to fish it um, when I'm nymphing is to stay low, fish from the near bank out to the far bank. I usually fish this like I do any other stream. So, um, I'm usually fishing or nymphing in the Joe Humphrey style, which means I'm not using an indicator. Um, I like to fish two flies, uh, typically with my bead head, hare's ear, and then another fly underneath. Um, yes, you can, you can fish Hot Creek standing up. Lots of people do it. You can fish Hot Creek walking downstream. Lots of people do it. I prefer to stay low and stealthy and fish upstream, uh, mainly because what I notice when people are standing up or they're fishing downstream is they're pushing all those fish off the near bank. If you're fishing an indicator, that's not so much of a problem, but when you're fishing without an indicator, um, why make it harder for yourself than you need to? So fishing near bank first, on your knees, for me is the way to go. So we haven't caught anything yet. Been fishing probably for about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. So word today is to fish the slow water. Um, there aren't many fish showing, but there are some big fish showing. Um, I'm a creature of habit, so we're starting off fishing the bluffs and then we'll probably concentrate on the slower water a little bit later. The bluffs are you know, basically a big fast, uh, big fast run with some pockets. Which is what I like to, which is what I like to focus on. So my favorite spot's not producing, so time to go focus on some of that slow water. 
Okay, so I've come down to the tail end of the bluffs. Um, there's some quiet water right real close to this bank here. There's usually big fish along this bank. And then down over there where Roger's um, standing, uh, there's some quiet water down there as well. It's been a few years since I fished this section of the stream and I am surprised by how much it's changed. This used to be really, really deep and now it's now it's all filled in with gravel and sediment. So not not quite the slow water uh, hole that I thought it was going to be. Okay, I'm coming down to where Roger was. Um, that's some truly slow water. I can I can see that next year I'm going to have to spend a lot of time here and fish it properly. Some of the runs have just they're so different than than what they used to be in the past. You know, in terms of. Um, how deep they are and, and that sort of thing so you know I've been coming here 15 years but I haven't really fished it that hard in the last I don't know five or six so probably should do that again finally got a small rainbow on oh you're gonna net him for me thank you Whoop, let's get him out of this current Aha! I stepped on my line. <laughs> oh well. So I missed that fish, which sometimes happens when I'm screwing around with my camera. Um, this particular time, I stepped on my line, which I don't think I've ever done before, so. <laughs> Getting pretty late. It's about noon. Time for us to uh, head over to another destination. So I'm just gonna quickly fish some normally productive holes as I make my way back to uh, back to the cabin. I'm gonna call it and head to our next destination. Um, one hooked fish in three hours almost makes me want to put on an indicator. Almost. Not that there's anything wrong with indicator fishing, it's just not the way that I fish. So um, I think I might end the video here and then have a new one for the new destination. So if you've watched until this point, thank you for that. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for following along.